Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today I am sharing with you some bathroom decor ideas and just some really practical and functional ways that you can decorate your bathroom. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and of course if you do I'd love you to stick around, subscribe and of course turn on those notification bells so that you don't miss another video. So the first way that I like to decorate my bathroom area personally is by using plants. So the beauty of plants is the fact that you can actually get plants that absorb odors. So if you have a toilet in your bathroom and you know obviously that's a bit of a smelly place or if you've got someone with some really smelly feet or smelly shoes that's taking a shower then this is a great way to absorb those odors and really purify the air so I'm actually going to leave a link in the description box below of some of the plants that help absorb odors The next thing I like to decorate with in my bathroom is candles. Now, the reason why I actually use candles in my bathroom is because I actually use them to have candlelit baths for my daughter. So she'll have a bath before bed and I'll have it in that dimmed light to help boost the melatonin. Now, this is something that I was taught from a sleep consultant was to always have dimmed lights with my child before bed. So this is just one of the ways that I've been able to incorporate it in our routine and some of the ways that I have been able to, you know, decorate my bathroom as well. And another thing that I love about candles is the fact that, you know, there is so many different styles, different shapes, different textures out there that will suit pretty much any home. So, you know, you're never limited at all as to what you can really buy when it comes to candles. Another thing that you may consider buying if you actually love having candlelit baths, or actually got the time to have a candlelit bath, I'm so jealous, is to purchase a bath caddy. So these not only serve as storage, but you can really style these to look really amazing. So, you know, you can get ones that hold books and wine glasses and stuff like that. So as I said, they are a practical element and they look good in the bathroom. Okay, so <laughs> let's address the toy issue because I know a lot of people will be saying, what do I do with all my kids' toys? My best, the best advice that I can give you would be to look for something that blends in with your bath. So obviously you're gonna need those drainage holes, but the best one I have sort of seen was this one here from Kmart. And that is because it's very slim light and it is white. So it, really does blend in and match in with the bath. I personally just opted for a little square basket with heaps of drainage holes. And you know, if she's not having a bath every night, she's opting for a shower, I can actually put that under my vanity and no one will even know that it's there. So there's just some simple things you can do to either like camouflage it, to try and hide it and remove that clutter or just completely hiding it all together. The next item that I love is jars. So you guys know that I love my storage and jars are one of those things that you can use as a storage purpose, but also as a decorative element. So you can get some really beautiful jars that you know aren't transparent and you can hide away all those bright things that you might have in your bathroom in those. And then you can also get you know your clear sort of candy jars and stuff like that where you can put in your q-tips and cotton balls and all those little things that aren't going to you know draw the eye in and serve as visual clutter so this is one of the items that i love to decorate with shampoo bottles is another one that is one of my pet hates i think it's because most of the shampoo bottles out there are really brightly colored and a lot of the time, you know, you've got all these different sizes and shapes. So rather than being able to focus on the beautiful things that you've got in the bathroom, whether it's a feature tile or a feature vanity or whatever you may have in there, your eye is drawn to these really brightly colored shampoo bottles, which is just as bad as looking at soft toys, to be honest, in the bathrooms. 
So the way that I've eliminated this personally in my bathroom is by getting some bottles. So these ones here are from Pretty Little Designs, but, but you can get a heaps of different ones from a lot of different places out there. And you can also do it DIY ones yourself as well, which I have got a video on how I did one of those as well. I will link it up here for you. Okay, so the next way of decorating your bathroom is to make sure that there's a statement piece in your bathroom. So I know there are some absolutely beautiful bathrooms out there that have some amazing, you know, feature tiles and feature walls in them and stuff like that. And I do know that this is not actually possible for everyone considering there are a lot of people out there that are renting. So my advice would be to just change up something in your bathroom that can easily be swapped out. So some of the easiest ways would be to purchase a large piece of artwork or to put some floating shelves on the wall or even to put a new mirror up in your bathroom. So when I did do my renovations in my bathroom, I was going to choose either a statement vanity or a statement mirror. And I found this beautiful mirrored vanity on marketplace for $500. So I ended up using that and then just a plain mirror. If you have too many statement pieces in the one room, then again, your eye doesn't know where to look and it just becomes too busy. So you just won't need to choose one statement piece. But if I was renting, I would just be swapping the mirror out for something decorative if it was possible, or I would be putting a piece of artwork on the wall using just a simple 3M hook. And the next way that you can improve the look of your bathroom is by simply removing that visual clutter. Now, I did do a whole video on visual clutter, which I will leave at the cards at the end of this video. I actually did two videos, so I'll actually leave one in the description box below for you. So yeah, basically what you need to do is remove the visual clutter in the bathroom because as I said before, if you're having these bright colored things in your bathroom and you've got like an all white bathroom, your eyes can be drawn to that item. So. One of the ways that I have done this in a really practical sense is by simply changing out, you know, the color of my comb in my bathroom. So I always comb my hair when I'm in the shower. That is just what I do. And without removing it from the shower, because that would be just really, really impractical, I've actually just opted for one that is the same color as my tiles. This is such an easy way to swap it out. You can also get these in a matte black as well. So if you've got matte black, fittings, then you can get these from Kmart in a matte black as well. Another thing that I've done is I've added a canister into the niche in my bathroom and that is simply just to hide some more of those bright colored things like my shaver, my exfoliant glove and my face wash. So again, just be creative and just think of how you can remove that visual clutter, but still being really practical at the same time. Another thing that needs to be said is you can have the most beautiful bathroom. You could spend thousands of dollars on the bathroom, but if your bathroom is not clean, your bathroom is not going to look nice. So one of the easiest ways to maintain a clean bathroom is by simply storing cleaning products in easy to reach places in your bathroom. Obviously you're using the vanity, you know, a few times a day, whether it be brushing your teeth, you know, men having a shave, <laughs> putting makeup on, it is going to get really, really dirty. So by having just a cleaning product in your vanity area and a wipe, you are quickly able to wipe that down once a day and it is always going to look nice. So what if you've got a shower curtain? Yeah, I had one of these. It was so, so hideous. It always got in the way. It stuck to my leg when I was having a shower. I hated it and I can tell you, I'm so glad it's gone. So one of the tricks that I have seen now, I think it was Rebecca Robeson. Now, I know that she put the actual rod on the ceiling of the roof and then she hung, the, hung it so it was coming from the roof and going down. Now, I actually think she put an extension on that. I'm not sure it was that long ago when I watched it, but I'm, if I remember my, my memory, she actually just extended the length of the shower curtain. One of the places I have seen that sell pretty cool curtains are Society6. 
They can be a little bit out there, but any of their artwork that they have, they pretty much can print on a shower curtain for you. So if you're looking for something, even like something a little bit different or a, a little statement piece in your bathroom, then you could actually make a feature out of it by you know using a piece of artwork as your curtain. Now the other thing you really need to think of is how you're actually using your space. So if you are putting things away all the time and then they kept getting left out, how can you solve this problem? Maybe you need a little caddy to put your makeup on and store it on your vanity if that is going to help you you know, keep things looking clean and tidy. So just think about how you're really using the space. That way you can be very intentional about how you're organizing things and how you can purchase something that is more decorative that you can leave out to organize your things so that And another way of decorating your bathroom is by using a decorative mats and decorative towels. So this is such an easy and practical way of projecting color into your bathroom. If you don't have the money to go around buying all new towels, which really it is such a waste and very impractical, one of the things that I would suggest is just to buy one single decorative towel. So by putting one single decorative towel on your towel rail, your eye is immediately drawn to the nice looking towel rather than the other towels that may be a little bit ratty or a little bit worn. So thank you guys all for watching today's video. I hope you're all doing safe and if you're in lockdown like us, I hope you're keeping sane and I will catch up with you guys for another video next week. If you have any video suggestions, please let me know either on my Instagram or leaving comment below and I'll see what I can do for you. And if you do want to see more from me, definitely go and check me out on Facebook and in on Instagram and I'll catch up with you next week for a new video. I'll see you then. Bye.